Ahoy, you scurvy dogs. It's the Curse Captain Hippo TC here, and in this video, I'm going to break down all the changes that happened to the Emissary System in the Lost Treasures update of Sea of Thieves. Yeah, that is right, the Emissary System has changed again. But before we get started, if you enjoy this content and find it helpful, it would mean so much to me if you hit that sub button. Each sub is greatly appreciated, and I promise that I will continue to work hard to bring you quality content worthy of that beautiful sub. Now let's jump into the video. Oh, Emissary System, we want to love you and understand you, but you keep changing on us. In the new update Lost Treasures, there are more changes to the system, and trust me, you're going to need a grog for this. So sit back, have a drink, and I will explain everything. First, let's start with the good. The Athena's Fortune Emissary Quest will no longer have those awful cargo runs thank the whale lord instead we will now have extra dig locations on the x marks the spot maps resulting in more athena fortune specific rewards from that quest this is great news and will really help pirates level up athena's fortune reputation however there's also been some more rebalancing for athena's fortune emissary now pirates must perform more actions to increase their emissary grade how much more you ask well i'm not 100 percent sure but it will take you longer to level it up which is a total Total bummer. Let's drop some S in the comments for all those Athena Fortune emissaries. As for the Order of Souls, we see some changes to their emissary quests as well. Now the quests pick from a much wider range of islands when tasking crews to hunt down those skeleton bounties, providing more variety to the quest, but also adding some more time to it. This means us bloodthirsty pirates will have a bit more of an advantage in finding those scurvy dogs who are running this emissary. Good news for us, but bad news for you. Merchant Alliance also has a small change. Now the quests given out for Emissary Grade 5 are provided with two maps to provide more variety in the quest. So for all you merchant loving pirates, this will be a bonus to provide some variety for you as you seek to rank up. Other changes we see are reductions in gold awarded at lower emissary levels when ending an emissary session via the voting table. This is intended to encourage players to get to higher emissary grades for their payouts. So hopefully we will see more high ranked emissaries out there for the plundering. Now, for all trading companies, Rare has added what they are calling Emissary Quest icons. So Emissary Quest and the Quest Radio will now have a bespoke icon next to them. So now you can tell which ones need to be completed and which ones are those annoying maps found in bottles and barrels. Other changes we see are emissary crews leaving the game will now drop a flag from their sunken ship and emissary tables will now properly display if an emissary crew migrates onto a new server. We can also finally harpoon those emissary flags from the water, thank goodness. Also placing loot in open collector's chests will now advance your emissary grade reputation and you will now receive the correct emissary grade progression when picking up a collector's chest. Last but not least, let's talk about the emissary grade multipliers. The multiplier bonus for loot cashed in has been rebalanced. Grade one no longer provides any bonus. This is intended to encourage pirates to get to the higher levels. The bonus for grades two and three have been updated to compensate for this change while grade four and five remain unchanged. Here's what the new multipliers look like. Grade one, we see no bonus at all. Grade 2 is a 1.33x multiplier. Grade 3 is a 1.67 multiplier. Grade 4 is 2x multiplier. And grade 5 is still a massive 2.5x multiplier. And there you have it. All the changes and updates to the emissary system. What do you mates think? Make sure to let me know in the comments below. Also, if you want to learn more about the Lost Treasures update for Sea of Thieves, make sure to check out my video where I cover all the big changes that have happened. I have linked that video in the description below. Thanks for watching, mates, and I hope to see you out on the seas.